read the first sentence. They visited the new. Uh -huh. Right, well. Visited. Kevin Jogu, Gumi Grace Wambui, Dongo Phyllis Jamiu, um, Karanja Peter Mwangi, na Kariuki Isabel. Plays for her boat on her. She is very happy. Juma sees baby Sarah. Baby Sarah is dirty. He takes her home. Mother gives baby Sarah a bath. Yeah, baby Sarah plays for about a house she is very happy said it will be very cold i put on my warm coat and a thin pair of socks now can you start baby sarah wants to play in the sand she puts sand in her hands she put sand on her legs. She put sand in her hair. Baby Sarah plays for about an hour. She is very happy. Put it like that. Good. Now you can start. Eh? Okay, remove those homework books. Put on your table, on your desk, on top. You have to put them on your desk. And if we don't hear any sound oi in the middle of the word, we shall put our thumbs down. Oi! Mm. <coughs> Very good. We shall put our thumbs up. Thank you. Uh, viewers, good morning. My name is Dr. David Turodi. I am a career educationist. Now, last week, the Teacher Service Commission indicated that they would want to, they would want the universities to scrap Bachelor of Education, Arts and Science as a requirement for registration of teachers. Now, this is a move that ought to have happened long ago. The Teacher Service Commission is mandated at, under the TSC Act 20 of 2020 to carry out three functions. To issue teaching certificates, they're in charge of the teaching service, and this prescribe teaching standards. Now, on issuance of teaching certificates, Although it is the, the responsibility of universities to train teachers, it is the responsibility of the Teacher Service Commission to tell the universities what kind of teachers have to be trained. There's a difference between a Bachelor of Education degree and a Bachelor of Arts degree. At the university, a Bachelor of Education degree takes four years and a Bachelor of Arts takes four years. Now, this four years has about 60 units. When a person takes a Bachelor of Arts degree, say, in Kiswahili and history, they cover 30 units in history and 30 units in Kiswahili. Now, another teacher who undertakes a beard in Kiswahili history will have to split the time such that 
they will have about 20 units of Kiswahili, 20 units of history, and 20 units of education. Meaning that in terms of content, a person who has done Bachelor of Arts will have a deeper content. And it is the content that is delivered in class. Now, when the Teacher Service Commission says that they would want teachers to undergo a postgraduate diploma in education, it means that after they have acquired enough content, after they have graduated, they spend another one year to be taught how to teach. Meaning, they will be teachers with higher content and now are professionals who have used the fifth year at the university to learn how to teach. Now, when this one happens, we'll be following in the footsteps of other careers like law. In Kenya, our law students take four years at the university and it is after that that they join the Kenya School of Law to learn how to practice law in Kenya. We are happy that teachers who have been trained all over the world, in Australia, Britain, South Africa, wherever, they will now get to be trained how to practice the classroom practice in the Kenyan boulders following our national curriculum. This is a step in the right direction. It is a, it is a step that we have been waiting for. Now, I would like to remind viewers that in 2019, the Justice Service Commission had a first national teachers conference at the Kenya School of Government. And one of the recommendations of a paper I, I presented was that we should establish a Kenya School of Education that harmonizes the teacher practice in the class. After teachers have been trained by our 68 chartered universities, after they have been trained abroad, there is need to have a singular institution that harmonizes the way we carry out our classroom practice. And I'm very happy today that this idea has seen the light of day. And as the, the Secretary of Teacher Service Commission has said, starting September this year, those students who will be joining universities will be required to join university and to undertake a general degree in, edu in, in, in subjects like physics, mathematics, and after four years of training, they will then be admitted for a postgraduate diploma that will make them teachers to teach within the Kenyan borders.